Hey everyone and welcome back to Cup of Chic or welcome if you are new. I post all things Louis Vuitton three times a week so please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison of these three bags if you can see them. They're all top handle bags so I'm going to be comparing them for you guys today. So if you want to see and hear my thoughts on these bags then just keep watching. So first let's do a quick overview of all of the bags and then we can kind of get into them individually. So we have the Louis Vuitton Clapton mini backpack, but I like to wear it most of the time to be honest with just its top handle. I think it's a really cute bag like that. Next we have the Pochette Matisse. I have it in the reverse canvas. I also really love to wear this bag with just its top handle. And then thirdly we have the Clooney BB. Um, and this one most of the time I wear it with its top handle, not the crossbody strap. So those are the three bags. Oh, they are all very similar in size. They will all fit the exact same amount of things. They will all fit like a full size wallet. They will all fit your big phone, um, extra things like gloves if it's in the winter, sunglasses, anything like that. All of that stuff will all fit in each of these, no problem. One thing that's different, let's say, with the Pochette Matisse is it has an exterior pocket. It has the little pocket, zipper pocket on the back of it, where these ones don't have any exterior pockets so if you need something like that for your phone or for your keys or anything like that this is definitely the bag for you and quickly i just want to mention i know this one kind of looks like the odd man out because it's not in one of the classic prints you can get the clooney bb in a classic print and if you need something with a little bit more room this is also the bag that you can get it in a bigger size the other two they're just kind of standard this, their sizes this one you can get in a bigger size if you need it a little bit bigger i personally think the bb is definitely not small. I think it's a perfect mid-sized bag. Um, so this one you open like this. It has a magnetic closure, which is really nice. You don't have to kind of fuss with putting the little knob in anything. It's a mess in here. I just have a bunch of receipts and everything. I haven't worn this bag in a little bit, but it's just a big open pocket. It has two little pockets back here. And then this one has a zipper pouch on the inside, which again, has a bunch of receipts, which again has a bunch of receipts in it. I need to clean this bag out, but this that's what this one has for compartments inside. The Clapton, again, for its closure, it's a little, for its closure, you have to put the little thing through here to close it. Um, and then inside, it just has one big pouch at the back, and then obviously the big open area. This one does fold out on the sides, um, which also the Clooney does fold out on the sides. I forgot to show you guys but it does separate on the sides there, so you can expand it a little bit if you need to. I'm trying to fit these all in my lap here. Then with the push-up Matisse, you kind of just squeeze these little things and this releases. You can open it, I just have the strap in here, and it has a front pouch, a middle pouch, and a back pouch. So the push-up Matisse has a little bit more compartments opposed to the other two, but like I said, they'll all fit the same amount of stuff. Just kind of depends with these bags which closure you want. Um, if you want just like the pull open or if you if you're okay with it being a little bit more secure whichever you prefer they all come with crossbody straps as well so you don't have to wear them top handle um, I just it's so I just think the top handle is so cute with an outfit just like make such a statement but it's not always practical I totally get it so I do love that they all have the crossbody strap if you need it um, I just love this bag. I haven't used it in a while, and so just holding it, bringing it out right now, is just making me so happy. I'm definitely gonna bring this bag out soon. Anyways, um, yeah. Depending on how you want to wear these top handle bags, this one is quite a bit bigger opening, so it's a little bit easier to put it in the crook of your arm. Um, where these other two, you can't really do that. You can kind of just hold them with the top handle. So this one's a bit, a bit smaller, not too much smaller, and then this one's really small. Like these ones, you definitely. I couldn't at least really fit my arm through it comfortably, like my wrist, but nothing further than that. So if you're going to hold it by its top handle, then there's really, they're all the same. But if you do want to put it in the crook of your arm, then you definitely have to do this one. Um, I just love the shapes of all of these top handle bags. I think if you're going to have a top handle bag, the shape is so key. They're just so sophisticated and cool, like when you hold them by their top handle. So like if you're getting a bag for its top handle, it's gotta be a really cute shape, I think, just personally. Here's them all from a profile. 
This one's obviously a little bit taller because you can't also wear it as a backpack, obviously. This one's a bit square. And this one's kind of like A-line, I guess. So it's like a little bit smaller up here and goes wider. I don't really think there's too much more that's different between them. They're all pretty much the same. Um, if you have any specific questions regarding each of these, make sure to comment them down below. And if you want to see a really in-depth comparison between the Clooney BB and the Pochette Matisse, I do have that, so I'll also leave it linked down below. just wanted to kind of do a top handle bag review because I love wearing my bags top handle, and I think it's super cute and trendy right now, so just wanted to add this one in there since I do already have a review on these, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little top handle review. It's short, quick. Um, like I said, if you have any further questions or if I miss something, make sure to comment them down below because I love chatting with you guys down there. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more bag comparisons. Also, don't forget to comment if there's certain bags you want me to compare that I haven't done so already. Make sure to comment that down below as well. And I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!